In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play I Alone by Live off of their album, Throwing Copper. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if you think Live was the most underrated 90s band. And let's dive in. Before we get started with the lesson, take note that this song is in half step down tuning. So the E string is gonna be down to E flat, and then the A string to A flat, and so on. Everything's a half step down. The song's gonna start on the G power chord. Okay, I'm still gonna refer to it as the G power chord even though we're a half step down. Okay, and then it moves to a D power chord. It's fifth fret, fifth string. And then down to a C power chord, third fret, fifth string. Now here, here's where we do some extra strumming. So we hit that power chord, and then what we're gonna do is hit the open first and second strings. And then we'll repeat. What I'm doing with the right hand there goes like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down. So we'll go through that several times with a quiet, clean guitar, and then we'll hit the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is just gonna be a B power chord. And at this point, we've got some distortion turned on to give it some emphasis. So we just let that B power chord ring out. And then right before we get to the chorus, what we're gonna do is we'll hit this G and we'll bend it just slightly. Not even a full half step, just a little bend. And then we kick into the chorus. The chorus will go like this. We have a full E, open E chord. Then we hit the B power chord again. And then a open G chord. So we have E chord, E power chord, big G chord. I'm calling that the big G because we have pinky down and ring finger down in the third frets. And the rhythm and chord changes will go like this. At this point, we're gonna hit the A chord. It's an A major chord. And then we repeat. And then we kick back into the verse, and then another pre-chorus and chorus, and then we're into the breakdown. The breakdown's gonna be a lot like the pre-chorus in that we're just gonna be ringing out this B power chord at the start of the breakdown. And then the bass is gonna be playing most of the part in the breakdown. The guitar is just mostly gonna be feeding back during this part. You will hear a couple of notes, so you'll hear an open B string in there and you'll hear fourth fret of the third string. But mostly we're just feeding back until the end of the breakdown where you'll hear him hit that B power chord like that again. Let it ring, and then one more time. 
And then when we come out of the breakdown, it's just like coming out of the pre-chorus. We slightly bend that G, that's third fret, sixth string, and then into the last chorus. We're gonna play through the chorus just like we did in the first two, but the end of the song is gonna be a little bit different. So we're playing the chorus just like we've been playing it. The last couple of times through here, we're not gonna go to the A, I just skipped over the A. Then it ends on that G. Is Throwing Copper the best album name of all time? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls. <laughs>